Well, I usually come up here every Veterans Day and every Memorial Day. Uh, I couldn't afford to pass this up right here. Uh, he's too good of a guy not to be here. But like I say, I'd never met him, but he was a brother to me. All service people are brothers and sisters to each other. I mean, we all bond together for one, one purpose. There's no one to take his place, unless it was me. I'd be like him. I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't take anything off of anybody, and uh, I would do the best for the country that I could. Well, uh, his reputation was one of being a maverick. I'm sure someone else will step in and take that place. He will certainly be missed. Uh, the example he set of, of courage and character will certainly be missed. I'm from a military family, lived all over the, the world, and um, for a president to treat a military man, a senator, a man with such dignity, um, without any dignity, is was shameful. And I'm embarrassed for you know for the country for him to be treated like that. And to have a president who mm, hasn't served, and mm, oh my God, it's so hard to say. It's just sad to see a great man be treated the way he was treated, and that this country ra lowered flags, raised flags, lowered flags, raised flags. I just found that it was just beyond disrespectful. You know, to be to be next to you know such a great human being, and um, you know, 15 feet away from him, um, it was very it made me proud to be an American. Um, you know, I haven't been proud of my country since we elected Donald Trump president, um, and. You know, he's stripped away the rights of immigrants and even American citizens. And, um, but to, to see John McCain there, and to know that there was somebody that, in the face of pressure from his own party, stood up against such a, such a terrible human being. And, uh, and he did it. And, uh, you know, it was just a very moving. And I was very proud to be there. And it reminds me of why our country is great. It's great because of people like uh, Senator McCain.